This is going to be an interesting game of football, isn't it, Sean? Very interesting game, Darren. Good afternoon, listeners, watchers, wherever you are around the world, as they say. Um, yeah, very interesting game. The form charts, they, you know, the stats I churn out, Darren, for our establishment here, they do a lot of heavy lifting. But when you look, the Eastbourne themselves are second in the home form table from the last six games as it stands. Um, Farnborough in eight days' time. They've won six in a row. They're not playing this afternoon, so they've got another game to catch up on, like everybody has. The fixture list that Maidstone have on paper does look fairly, not comfortable, but fairly achievable to remain undefeated in that last seven league games, potentially. Through Sam Corn. Corn. Into the middle. Oh, that goes past everybody, and uh, that was just begging to be headed in, but unfortunately wasn't. The ball is picked up by Gurung on the edge of the penalty. area. It's a penalty. penalty. Well, I was going to mention Class missed the header just a moment before that. But it looks like I'm trying to work out who it is who's gone down there. Yeah, the Maidstone player went over um, and uh, they're calling for the physio. But uh, the referee decides that that was illegal. It, it was definitely in the area. And it's Corn against Fawkes. Hopefully you didn't see our video of the Dartford game. Corn gets it, puts it into the opposite corner. Maidstone won. Eastbourne nil, or should I say Eastbourne nil, Maidstone one. Whichever way round you do it, Darren, it reads that Sam Corn has scored a penalty in the seventh minute for Maidstone United after that challenge, deemed illegal by referee Ablett. Tang has gone down and Corn has sent Harrison Fawkes the wrong way. Maidstone United have themselves. So uh, can only put it out for a throw. Eastbourne with the ball on the edge of the box. Cross comes in, headed out by Sam Corn, hits the referee. Surely the referee should stop that yeah. if it's hit him on the... And part. especially if he stopped it earlier, the Maidstone player wouldn't have got absolutely clattered there by an Eastbourne man there. The referee is at fault at least twice. There's a yellow card here. Incident. And only yellow. And only yellow because, I mean, the referee, frankly, Sam Beard is the one who's gone through. Foul, I think it was there. I mean, Maidstone uh, did have possession and it was Maidstone that played it into Ablett's back. So the few referee Eastbourne is pushing Green yeah, away. A and few he says exactly, a few Eastbourne players annoyed that they're not going to to contend it. But again, it was Maidstone that had possession when it was gone. It's not a restart from the free kick. From It's not your ball. I mean, one, it's a foul after the whistle had gone. Yeah. And two, we had possession. So yeah. other than that, Long one by on. Bone. Rush is in contention with Quick. One by foul from Quick to rush on the left-hand side of the area. Got Ezanolim outside him, but to foul. Foul takes on two players. To rush, rush hits it, and uh, hits it against an Eastbourne defender, but the ball is with Tanga on the corner of the box. Stops it from going out. Plays a 1-2 with Korn, and Tanga is pushed over by Bird, and I think now he will go in the book. <laughs> yeah. That's a... So is that... The second yellow is that Beard that's done that then rather than it's Beard that's got a second yellow in as many minutes oh, I thought that was Bird I thought that was Bird as well but it looks like I mean Beard and Bird are so interchangeable yeah. they're trying to work out it looks like his Bird has had a second yellow card dead parrot sketch here isn't it yeah across the edge of the six yard box one by Bone to Bird Bird oh, oh. it's a goal what a goal that was. Half cleared out by Bone. Bird got it on the corner of the box and he just belted it into the top corner and it's 1-1. Fantastic strike from Bird. I joked about it flying in. Bird by name, Bird by nature. What an absolute rocket he's launched into the far corner. Long, long ball forward. Headed up in the air by Gurung towards Tanga. Tanga theatrically gets the ball forward. Rush against Carter, and Rush actually gets the better of Carter, loses the ball out to Fall. Fall is off call. Fall miss it wide, what a miss! Kovalan bowls the ball out long to Ezanolin, quick comes across. Back to Rafe Brown, inside to Bone. Bone rakes the ball towards Tanga. Tanga takes it on his right instep, Tanga with the ball at his feet. And Bamba takes the ball off of Tanga, doesn't foul him. And Bentley actually. And now Bird will be getting a yellow card. That's off. off. He went in with both feet 
and Bird has been sent off on in the 52nd minute for quite a bad tackle on uh, Jeff Tanga. Tanga's been in the wars this afternoon. Bird He's been targeted. He I has think. been, and Bird has gone from hero to villain. And I did say earlier, Darren, that Bird should have already been in the book. Um, so he's probably committed like a yellow and a half challenge there yeah. on Tanga, but he has just absolutely flown. The Bird puns keep happening, but when you see Bird get off the ground and put both sets of studs into Tanga there, then there's no other decision other than a red card. And Eastbourne come forward and again, Bamba doesn't have anywhere to go. That's what's so strange about this setup now, this training exercise match that we're going to have this next half hour, Darren, is that Brown, a centre-back, can come forward and run 50 yards and it not cost Maidstone too much because there's still three other defenders, two or three other defenders across that back line when anyone falls out because that two-man advantage, Maidstone have to keep churning chances out and getting on the front foot as often as possible and staying in this final third. As Anolin gets the ball, it's uh, headed towards Rush. Rush is there. Rush scores! I think the ball came off of an Eastbourne. It was crossed in by Chies and Olim. Came off an Eastbourne player, lobbed up in the air, and Matt Rush, who otherwise would have looked suspiciously offside, but uh, can't be, obviously, if it's played by uh, a member of Eastbourne, uh, the Eastbourne team, was in tons of space on the edge of the area and just slotted past Fawkes. Well, that does look like he's been on the phone the entire time with the earpiece on, with the earbud in, as Matt Rush receives a throw-in. Onside, uh, of course, can't be from a throw-in. He's got Tanga out, but uh, loses out. But Reynolds is the ball on the corner of the area. Reynolds checks onto his left, gets it back to Ezanolim. Ezanolim out to Korn. Korn with the ball. Out to Chi Ezanolim. Runs it quick, gets the ball across the edge of the six-yard box, it's out, and there's Reynolds, that's a great goal, his second one for Maidstone United. The ball is half cleared out and Reynolds just leathers it straight into the top of the goal, and that is game. That is game set and match, that is absolutely lashed into the top corner by Lamar Reynolds in the 85th minute. He scored an absolute world-class goal to get proceedings underway at Portman Road a couple of months ago. But my goodness me, that is a goal. He's absolutely thundered that in. It's not as good as Bird's. We'll take that away from <laughs> Reynolds straight away. But it's probably a goal that's almost as important. And uh, where they managed to prize out a chance, corn to Bone, still in the mate's stone half. Bone comes across the halfway line on the left, plays a little ball out. And uh, both mate's stone players are on side. Chi Morse. So. Olim. Yeah, well, uh, Adupoku was as well, and it's Adupoku who plays the 1-2 with Chi Ezanolim. Gets it out to Sam Korn, who's in a ton of space. Lamar Reynolds as well. Lamar Reynolds. Oh, oh what a goal! Oh, oh, what a goal! Oh. Now, that is the best strike of the day. That's more like it. Lamar. Goodness well. me. <laughs> You've scored. <laughs> Wowee. Uh, absolutely. 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 Um, absolutely. What an absolute stonking hit. What a goal to round off proceedings and it butters up Maidstone's goal difference. Would have been a very good question. Take, Tanga takes it to Korn, Korn back to Tanga. Can he get the cross in? He runs against the, the, the defender, Legenza. Tanga gets the ball and he's pushed over and that is a penalty. Reynolds has to, Korn's going over for it, but will Reynolds take it for the hat trick? Yeah, um, clear clear hand into the back of Tanga's uh, Court, back. It is def definitely a foul, but I mean, Reynolds has looked to the bench. Runs up, uh, referee saying to uh, both um, sets of players, make sure you stay out the area until it's hit. Lamar Reynolds against Fawkes. Reynolds runs up. Fawkes, and he yes. hits it into the roof of the net, and Lamar Reynolds gets a hat-trick from the bench with a penalty. And that is... Well, if it was game set and match before, that is it. And uh, A nine-minute hat-trick for Lamar Reynolds. <laughs> well, how amazing. Somebody who'd spent the whole season and scored. Trying to find a sixth one. There's about 20 seconds of the stoppage time left. All the full times coming through. Maidstone seemingly the top scorers, along with Worthing, this afternoon. Tango released down the right-hand side. side. I mean, what happened with Tanga last time we got a penalty. Tanga takes it onto his left foot, and that, well, that takes a deflection. 
and uh, totally wrong foot's faults, but that could have gone anywhere, and that is the end of the game. Wow. East Bourne Borough 1, Maidstone United 5.